clean and clean the apical portion of the canals uh, with our master apical file to make sure there's no debris packed down there. So the next step we want to do is we want to select the largest plugger to go one half the working length. Our working length in this tooth is 24 millimeters. So we take uh, our larger plugger, which is so we take our larger plugger, which is a number 11, and we put measure the plugger to 12 millimeters. And we put the plugger into the canals. We see that at 12 millimeters, it, it's still, it, it's, not, it's already binding. I feel a binding in the tooth. And it's not actually going down to 12 millimeters. So the next uh, plugger that we want to try then uh, we the 10. Uh, measure the 10 at 12 millimeters. Okay. Put the 10 in the canal. And the 10 goes down to 12 millimeters again without binding on the walls of the tooth. So this will be our first plugger. So the number 10 plugger will be our first plugger. Uh, we'll then look for this, the next larger plugger that goes 5 to 7 millimeters from the working length. Uh, I'll try the number 9 plugger and if we're going seven, 5 to 7 millimeters uh, from the working length that's going to be from 20 to 18 in that range. Uh, so I'm going to set this at 18 millimeters. And when we put this in the canal you see that there's, there's quite a discrepancy. It's not even going close uh, to the working length or to what what our ideal length is five to seven millimeters from the working length so let's use our next smaller plugger which is the uh, number eight and we'll set that to 18 millimeters okay and set that in the canal and this goes down to 18 millimeters again without binding so these are two pluggers we have the the first plugger which is uh, the number 10 plugger and then our second plugger is the number 8 plugger.